So in this video, we're going to talk about why the thermosphere uh, increases its temperature as we increase in altitude, and it's located here on our diagram of the atmosphere. See, where we live, the higher you go in the atmosphere, the colder you get, which is this red line going to the left. That means lower temperature. But there are two layers in our atmosphere where instead of as you go up, it gets colder. As you go up, it gets warmer. One of those is the stratosphere. And I have a different video that explains why the stratosphere works the way it does. Temperature decreases in the mesosphere with height, just like we kind of expect as it does in where we live in the troposphere. But in the thermosphere, it kind of does the same. The temperature does the same thing as it does in the stratosphere. It increases the taller we go in the thermosphere. This video is going to explain why that happens. Now, something that we have to remember is a piece from an earlier part of our book where it showed us this diagram. As I said before, we live at the bottom of an ocean of air. So if this pyramid represents the layers of our atmosphere, we live at the bottom here. And all of this atmosphere stacked above us is pressing down on us. We live down here. And the reason why is there's so many particles here pressing, and we have all the particles above us pressing down. But as we get taller and taller in the atmosphere, there are fewer and fewer air particles. Well, the thermosphere is kind of up here, while we are in the troposphere, and we have all of these air particles. We have the most air particles you can get in the atmosphere down where we live. But up in the troposphere, there are fewer particles. And that really is the key in understanding why the temperature goes up. Fewer particles is the key, but fewer air particles allows two things. First, we have to understand that heat is not the same thing as temperature. They are two different things. Let's start with heat. A lot of times, Science uses heat and the term thermal energy the same. Heat and thermal energy are pretty much the same. Well, what is heat or what is thermal energy? That's the energy of moving particles. Oops. Now, this is not the same as kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of moving bodies, moving uh, items as a whole, um, like a car when it starts to move, or a block that's sitting on a table if it drops off the table. That The energy of it being pulled by gravity, that is kinetic energy. The energy in this case is the energy of moving particles. When particles bounce off each other, or vibrate or rub against each other, the energy that they have to, to do that is usually thermal energy or heat. And heat is transferred from one particle to another when they rub against each other or bounce off each other or collide or vibrate against one another. So heat energy or thermal energy is transferred when particles rub against or bounce off each other. And I need to remember how to spell transferred. There are two R's. Okay, so that's heat. Well, what is temperature? Well, temperature is almost like a police officer with a speed gun. You know, you've seen that on the roadways, or you've been in an area where there's a, a speed sign that as you pass it, it tells you how fast you're going. Well, temperature is simply a measure of how fast particles are moving. So you know how when we clock speed in the United States, when we measure speed of moving cars, we use miles per hour, like MPH, miles over hours. Well, in temperature, we don't measure it in miles per hour. When we take a temperature, we measure that temperature in degrees. 
So if we say that you, your body has a temperature of 98.6 degrees, we can say that the particles inside your body are vibrating or moving at 98.6 degrees. Kind of like saying the wind is moving at 35 miles an hour. So if we could measure how fast the particles are moving or are rubbing up against or vibrating against each other, that is temperature. So we've taken a measure, we've taken a temperature. So for your, the, the, the normal temperature range of the human body is somewhere around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a measure. So what does that have to do with the thermosphere? Well, the thermosphere has high temperature, but it has low heat. And this video is trying to explain why. And here's the explanation. The thermosphere has high temperature but low heat because there are so few particles. Think about a four-lane highway and you're the only car on it. You can go as fast as you want because there's no one to bump into. That is temperature. The particles in the thermosphere are moving at about a thousand miles an hour or a thousand degrees. You can think about it like miles per hour or degrees. The, the particles in the thermosphere are zooming around at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Why? Because there are so few of them, they can move as fast as they want, just like you and a four lane highway and you're the only car on it. So that's why the thermosphere has a high temperature. Few particles means they're never really, they're going to move as fast as they want because there's no traffic to slow them down. Temperature is speed. Temperature is speed. These guys are moving very fast. But the thermosphere has low heat. Remember what heat is. Heat is the energy that particles can use to move or bounce off one another. And it's transferred, this thermal energy is transferred when particles hit each other or collide with each other or bounce off each other. But in the thermosphere, there are so few of them, they rarely bounce off or hit each other. So there is low heat. There's low thermal energy because the particles really aren't bouncing off or rubbing against each other. They're moving very fast. There's nobody there except for them. But they're not bumping into each other nearly as much as they're bumping into each other down here at the troposphere where we live. Look at how closely packed they are. Look at how spaced out they are in the thermosphere. So the thermosphere experiences high temperature because the particles are zooming very fast, very fast. But they're not bumping into each other, which means they give off very little amounts of thermal energy. So I hope this video helped to explain that. You uh, Watch this as many times as you need in order to really understand it and soak it in. But now you know why the thermosphere behaves the way it does.